So the first video on the roster, if kind of just talked about the benefits of editing it and showing that you have to decompress it to be able to edit and get to all the fun, juicy bits inside of it. Now I'm going to show you how to get the game to recognize it and load it. So if you modify your own roster, if, um, you know, let's just go ahead and do this. Go to 2K14, roster.if. Now this is the default one. So we'll just rename this default two because I already have one. And this is my Midnight Ballers one that I made the other night. So let's just do change that to roster. And now what should happen is when I load up the game um, and you go to options, reset roster, it should load this right here. So let's load up the game. And I'm gonna show you why this is not going to work. <laughs> that's the, the, the completely wrong way to go about doing um, a tutorial on this, but that's the way I'm gonna go about doing it. So you load the game, um, eventually. There we go. That took a strangely longer amount of time than I thought it would. So yeah, um, you get into the actual game itself and it, sh it wants to load up the roster at if file. That's the default file it loads. People were complaining about how it doesn't load the uh, last roster you had loaded. Well, it's not loading any roster. It's loading the roster if file. So, oh, wait, this isn't my file. What happened is that 2K pushes roster updates with the roster if file. So if you go to your saves folder, which you can get to through other tutorials, go to online data, downloads, you'll see the roster if file right here. This is the updated one by 2K Sports. We don't want to use this one. So what we can do is uh, we can go ahead and rename it or something. Uh, um, let's do it this way. Bring over the modified roster if. Copy here and overwrite it. It's okay. It's going to get redownloaded anyway. Properties and hit read only. Or you can go to your online do folder, the downloads folder, and change this to read only. Um, in some way, shape, or form, you need to stop the game from downloading this or using a modified one. Now, if I go to options, reset roster, boom. Now we're loading up my Midnight Ballers Street one instead of the default one. Um, this gets complicated because I don't know which one's actually loading. If it's, nope, it's okay, so this one got rid of it. It didn't like, the checksums didn't match. I, this is a modified uh, roster if file. The game didn't like it, so it just it's this abandoned ship. So it's loading this one right here. So if you go to your online data and read only that file so it doesn't load it, it will kill all of the online data and it will go back to using the one in the main folder. So that is how you load up the roster if file and how to get around the online data updates. And I guess in the next video, I will show you how to um, easily edit the roster if file using hex on steroids. So I'll see you in that one.